Stress Drunk. Welcome back once again to Stress Drunk Plays Mega Man X2. Let's move on to the next section. What could it possibly be? It is the old Mega Man staple that has uh, been in every Mega Man game, I believe. It's been in everyone up to this point. It's where you have to wait for it. Fight all the bosses all over again. You have to go in these capsules here. Not sure what that one's all about. It's all empty. Oh, I'm not even in there yet. You have to go in one of these. What's with this one? Anyway, it's wrong room. Spoiled the surprise. <laughs> you have to beat every boss all over again. There's capsules all over this freaking room. And we start with... Who do we start with? This guy, Bubble Face. I mean, you kill him with bubbles. Whoa, sorry about that. There was actually somebody at the door. I had to edit my way uh, out of that uh, situation there. And as a result, I am totally off my game. God damn it. I've already touched on this, but how humiliating to be defeated by bubbles. I mean, if it were Michael Jackson's chimp, or was it a chimp, or he, that he named Bubbles? I think it was a chimpanzee. Now that's something else, because, you know, it's, it, monkeys are coordinated, or monkey, chimps are coordinated and smart and tactical, and it ch I'd like to see a chimp fight Mega Man. It'd be pretty cool. And now we have Bubble Crab. <coughs> I wonder what actor, once, if you missed the last episode, I talked about uh, a potential Mega Man TV show um, that I, I came up with that uh, would be modeled after the old Batman TV series from the 60s, and it would have Jeff Goldblum as, as Mega Man because that would be completely stupid. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of actors for these, these uh, uh, reploids. Is that what they're called? Replicants? Reploids? Well, replicants is Blade Runner. Like, who does this guy look like? He kind of... Uh, Bubble Crab kind of looks like Wilfred Brimley. Wow, I took a lot of damage there. So we've got Wilfred, Br Wilfred Brimley for Bubble Crab. Is he still alive? I don't know. And then we have, uh, uh, for the for the stag, flame stag, you could have... I don't know. Think of an actor that's really tall. Uh... We can get Christopher Lloyd for that, right? Christopher Lloyd's a pretty tall guy, I think. God damn it, get up there. Get up there. Jesus. Oh, there's life up there. I should probably do something about that. <laughs> yeah, Christopher Lloyd is Flame Stag, dressed in a completely hokey costume. It doesn't look remotely realistic. <laughs> it's all. I think Christopher Lloyd's like 65, 70 years old. All right, now who plays who plays Wire Sponge? Uh, how about good old fashioned Gary Oldman? He can give it a an English slant. In fact, Gary Oldman, I read uh, I, I read it on the internet, so it must be true uh, that Gary Oldman had played so many American roles that required so many American accents. Obviously, he's English. Um, that he forgot his original accent and voice and all that. Shit, I'm gonna have to use another sub tank. Um, yeah, he forgot his own his original accent and he just started talking American all the time. And he had to relearn how he used to talk, which is really interesting. I mean, I just think it's fascinating that we may live to be. We could live to be a thousand years old, and we'll still never understand the human brain. Like, barely at all. Just very... God, that spike on the wall is really infuriating, because I can't climb. But it's a little too high for me to shoot, and I don't want any others to accumulate. There we go. Thank you for exploding that for me, sir. This Mr. Oldman. So we got Gary Oldman as Wire Sponge. That attack never works. That's the worst attack by any boss in a Mega Man game. Other than other than Chill Penguin standing there and, and, and blinking at you. All right, three down, five to go. Next. Oh, I've, I've already had to use two sub tanks like a freaking loser. So 
One more up here. Let's see if I can actually fucking climb this. Do you just... Okay, you just go straight. I'm trying to, like, do all this, like, maneuvering shit. Who could be next? Yeah, we're just gonna go in order all the way around up here. And we got uh, Morph Moth. This is a tricky one, because, you know, he has to be able to uh, change forms and begin as a whatever that is. I don't even know what you call that. Do moths come from cocoons, like, the same way butterflies do? I honestly don't know. Shit. So who can play Morph Moth? It's a guy with wings. And it needs to be, it can't be like a mega superstar. It always kind of bugs me when people come up with their own fantasy uh, TV show or movie or whatever and they cast like seven different big time. Yeah, like Will Smith is this and fucking Russell Crowe is this and, and Al Pacino is this. And it's like, no, it's, that's not even feasible to anybody. So it's like, I want to take like a fair amount of guys that are, maybe we'll have a woman play Morph Moth. That would be interesting. What if we had, uh, uh, what, what is her name? She plays uh, Queen Elizabeth. She plays, um, she's in Lord of the Rings. Kate Blanchett. We have Kate Blanchett as Morph Moth. She's uh, had all sorts of weird acting roles. That might be beneath her though. In a low budget Mega Man TV series. I don't know. Maybe it'll become a, a, a hot sensation. <laughs> like the original Batman show was. Now we have this obnoxious boss. And this is going to take forever because this weapon fucking sucks. And because I'm not really feeling it right now. Not really in the... Ah. See, it's... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Concentrate. Now, who's going to play this guy? This is uh, uh, Magnus Centipede. So it needs to be kind of a creepy crawly guy. Um, and when you think creepy crawly guy and acting in TV, you think of Steve Buscemi. So Steve Buscemi as it is going to play a centipede in the Mega Man TV series. I think that's... How does that miss? Ugh. There. Finally hit him. Jesus. Fucking Steve Buscemi. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. You're out of your element. I'm missing him, and I'm... I'm uh, driving me insane. God, I'm almost out of sub-tanks. I'm an idiot, and I'm going to switch to the fucking... Muscle Buster. <laughs> I always want to call him a Muscle Buster. It's the Mega Buster. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. Ugh. <sighs> Ah! I am. I do not have the right idea here. Ugh. I'm a moron. Okay. That's not the right way to do things. I'm just being stubborn at this point and very frustrated. Was it this? Ugh, jump. There. Thank you. Jump again. Thank you. Coaching myself to fucking beat this guy. Like I said, it <laughs> this is just to show off the game, not show off my lack of skill. And to talk about cool ideas and Steve Buscemi, who's in some of my favorite movies like Big Lebowski and, uh, like Big Lebowski. And we are coming up on the... We're past nine minutes. Going to go to ten minutes. I think I'm going to call this an episode. So uh, I thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.